morning everybody. I am in sunny Kent, Wickham Brew, which is just like a little village that's been lost in time. Very, very pretty. Today, as you'll see from the title, I've decided to wear my barefoot shoes, which I'm a bit worried about because um, I've never worn them on a long walk before. I've always worn my heavy hiking boots on uh, all of my walks, but most recently, when I get home after wearing my big heavy boots uh, my feet really hurt when I take them off and it's because I've been walking around barefoot and walking in my barefoot shoes a lot so um, I think that's not good to swap between them um, so I'm gonna have to make a decision soon to get some barefoot um, boots so let's go and explore Wickham Brew and the Little Stour and a lovely day ahead of us So good news so far is that my shoes are holding up, very comfortable, um, the ground is quite soft so it's not like being on tarmac so I'm quite happy so far but obviously I, I've got to do this five mile walk, we're about two miles into it and then I'm doing this walk again. So I'll get back to Wickham Brew and decide whether I then keep wearing these shoes but I think I might do. finished the walk, the first walk of the day, five miles from Wickham Brew up to Preston and back and now I've got a 20 minute wait, have my lunch and then wait for the next group and do exactly the same walk again. So another five miles, I'm trying to decide what to do with my feet. Um, they're a bit sore but I've just taken my shoes and socks off to let the fresh air get to them. I've got different socks, so I'm just going to change it up and I'm going to stick with my barefoot shoes because they have been really comfortable and just much more agile my foot is more agile i'm more agile um just to give you like an example that is what the shoe does just whack myself in the foot so um it does mean that your foot moves around a lot more it's got more freedom um and also i think i'd be a bit more wary if it was on like i was doing a walk along the coast or the coastal paths where they're very hard but it's quite soft out there it's lots of motorbikes lots of um soft ground underfoot so i'm going to go back out with these these are from vivo barefoot smell quite nice i think they're vegan as well i mean it all helps doesn't it primus trail they're called and um wear those again so they're not going to be any good when it's wet uh because they're really breathable um and they're letting all the water but it's all right on a dry day like today so let's go again guys you're gonna come About a mile into this walk and my heels are pretty sore but I think it's because there's not too much cushioning so I don't know if my hiking boots have probably got more cushioning um, but yeah I don't know what that's about maybe it's because there's not much padding underneath either so when I'm putting my foot down all of that kind of pressure maybe on a short walks at home and stuff is not oh, not such a difference but here in this terrain it's gonna be 10 miles in the end so hopefully we'll be all right but i will keep you updated look at this though it's well worth it well worth it for some sore heels for sure for sure Break time, it's flapjack time. Yummy, yummy. Oh, 
Mm, llamas. I mean, you get alpaca wool, but you don't mm. normally. <laughs> Got weird necks, haven't they? <sighs> well, I'm back into Wick and Brew, and I'm just sat by the church having a little rest. So that was the end of the day, end of the two walks, 10 miles in total. And um, yeah, I'm quite impressed with my feet actually. There was one point where my heels really hurt, as I would have said, um, and I was a bit worried. I was thinking, will this mean, what will this mean? Because I'm the walking leader. Um, I can't just leave the group. Um, it was getting quite sore and then it just eased off. My feet are fine, my heels feel okay now. Um, so you might be thinking, why are you walking in bare feet, barefoot shoes or more barefoot walking and well I have always had wide feet um, and I've always felt like hiking boots by the end of the walk have squished my feet and that um, sometimes it can be a bit painful a bit sore and people have said you need to switch up your hiking boots to a different brand or different size and I've tried those um, both those recommendations and it didn't really help so I just thought with the quarantine lockdown situation here I was wearing no shoes quite a lot of the time not out and about but around my house um and down to the beach and things like that and then i just got these barefoot shoes and they were just super comfortable and then yeah i just found that every time i wore my hiking boots on the one off day that i'd go walking with the group that that my feet got really sore now i have to decide whether to how to move forwards because these shoes like i said are fine in this weather but not in the wet weather so if you've got any recommendations anyone's anyone wears these sorts of shoes um in the winter um let me know because that will be quite helpful um but yeah so far it has helped my feet feel like more comfortable and that's the key isn't it you don't want to go walking and feel uncomfortable so thanks a lot for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed exploring Wickham Brew and the surrounding area and hearing a lot about my feet. Hopefully that's not put you off too much. <laughs> um, another couple of walks coming up next weekend, which is good. Have a wonderful weekend wherever you are. Keep safe and I will see you again very soon.